it is Tuesday, September 10th, I think. 9th, 10th, something like that. 10th. Anyway, I'm at 3M. Waiting to load to go to Oklahoma City. And, uh, okay, so here it is. I'm, I've been doing the videos for a year now. And I like doing the videos, but uh, me, myself, I'm getting kind of bored with the content. Um, so I'm going to change it up a little bit. Um, some of it I'm going to kind of do the same, but I'm just going to add some some things that uh, we'll go over the subject matters as we go, but we're, we're going to touch one subject matter that uh, has been important to me, at least, at least for the last year. I'll change up the videos anyway, and so uh, hopefully you guys still like them, and we're going to do just a different sort of content, and you know, so I started thinking about, you know, what's important to drivers in general, and what's not. A lot of it's just, especially guys that are looking uh, looking for shop, shopping places to possibly drive for, they're just looking for information, and uh, I mean, I think there's a bunch of information out there already in the content on these videos right now plus what Oakley puts out. There's a lot out there. And so some of the stuff I want to just kind of start doing, it's, it's going to take some time, but two parts of this is one, I'm going to start like going place to place. This is how we go. It's going to be common ones. If it's a farm or something like that, I'm not going to worry about that particular thing. I might get some video content of it, but uh, you guys know how the farms are. Sometimes we'll go there and I'll, I'll never go there again. But the places that we commonly go I at least want to touch base every time we go there. So we, you know, so if it's a new guy coming in, he can refer to some of these videos and say, oh, there's how we do this. So, you know, I'll like label the videos loading at 3M, unloading at Malarkey's, unloading at Atlas Dangerfield, you know, and put that kind of content out there. So these guys that are already working for Oakley can look at the videos and go, oh, there we go. That's it. Now, the other part of the content that I'm going to change is, uh, like I said, I'm going to do some things that are personal to me that I think maybe drivers might be interested in doing or listening to. So anyway, and so the first thing, the first subject matter I'm going to touch base on is um, health. Uh, how to try to remain healthy driving a truck. It's tough. And, you know going into this, I'm going to go and tell you what works for me and that I am under the care of a registered dietitian. She's my wife and she's uh, certified and uh, nationally certified in uh, weight loss management. I know a fat guy married to a dietitian just doesn't always work out, but hey, she loves me. She can't help herself. Anyway, and uh, I'm going to, over the next few weeks maybe month and maybe just time to time after that touch base on what I'm doing and uh, let you know what's what's working for me and I'm gonna tell you right now before we even start this I know a lot of guys will do different kinds of diets uh, fad diets keto paleo blah 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 if that's what you want to do knock yourself out I'm gonna tell you what works for me and what the dietitian says and uh, it's, we got to pause because I had to go load. Okay, so we moved over here and started loading. But to, to get at what I was talking about a second ago. Anyway, what I was getting back a second ago was. Uh, I think it's something that touches a lot of drivers on what they do to get healthy lose weight or maintain weight and that sort of thing because it's tough. We live a sedentary lifestyle for the most part. It's tough to exercise. It's tough to eat right. I understand all that. So uh, we're going to start with this. Okay, so last year before I started making the videos, because uh, I think I started making the videos in October, well, I went on vacation in July of last year. Uh, we went to the beach and went deep sea fishing, did a couple other things. And after seeing pictures of myself at the beach, I said it was time to do something. So here is one of those pictures. Okay, and so we're just gonna keep it real. Um, that's pretty bad. And 
I was 426 pounds. 426 pounds. Uh, you know, and I, I use a CPAP, and most that's mainly due because I'm, I'm I'm still fat, but I was so damn fat that I just had to do it. But the other thing is, um, you know, having an obstructive sleep apnea. It's you know, w once I got on the CPAP, I felt my life changed and for the better a whole lot more. And um, I've been on it for quite a while, but anyway, I'm kind of getting off subject matter there. But I have to yearly. I have to go in for uh, an update on the CPAP, my usage of it and all that stuff for my DOT physical because having an obstructive sleep apnea, you have to get a physical every year. So I just did that yesterday and then we got my DOT physical and I weigh 346. Still fat as hell, but that's better than 426 or 427, whatever it was. And so, and, and truthfully, in the last three months, I kind of plateaued on this weight because I'm not uh, and I know why I'm, I'm kind of not doing the things I need to do and we'll discuss that in later videos but I just want to touch base with you guys on what I'm going to talk about in some videos and what I'm going to do from now on so we're going to do videos like we regularly do plus we're going to add subject matter that might be important now I don't want to talk about stuff I don't know about and because I mean there's there might be some guys go what what kind of rear end do I need what kind of engine do I need and all this stuff well I'm not a gearhead and uh, so I'm not the guy to ask but some of the things that I think if I can add my input on and life experience through it and maybe help you guys out, I will. So that's it for now on the discussion what we're gonna do. Uh, get a little, so for, we're gonna get some more content here today and have a little discussion a little bit later about if you're interested in listening to me on this stuff, I'll uh, give you a little advice on some stuff you need to be aware of and what you might need. So talk to you soon. So we're done for the day and the, the video of me talking at the beginning of this video was uh, actually last week and uh, trying to put this all together in thought and uh, I'm so I'm just gonna start going for it here and you're probably not gonna see much from me this the rest of this week and I'm sorry I'm not putting much out because I'm as you can see I'm like I said I'm trying to change things up what I'm gonna do and some of this requires me to be home so you can kind of see what I do as far as uh, uh, change the way I do things. Uh, first, first, first advice, I, or just I can't say advice. I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm going to tell you what I do. It's kind of like driving. I, I, I tell new drivers, this is what I do. I don't know how you drive, so I don't know how you're going to do in this business. I can just tell you how I do. Okay. So, uh, number one thing I stopped doing. I quit drinking my calories. Um, 
soda is a killer. And you know, you get a 32 ounce pop and you fill your little giant go cup mug. You fill that sucker up uh, four or five times during the day. You've literally drank the amount of calories you're supposed to eat every day. And uh, that, that was a big change for me. So that, that's the number one thing. And I'm gonna, as time goes by here, I'm gonna be at the house. I'm gonna show you meal prep. I do have a fridge in my truck and that helps. I also have a microwave, that helps. I know not everybody has one of those. If you can get those or have access to them or at least a fridge or some kind of cooler where you can keep your meals cool and then if you need to heat them up, uh, I mean, there's plenty of places you can stop on the road and heat them up. But uh, not drinking your calories, quit drinking pop, and uh, preparing your own meals. I do eat outside the truck a few times during the week, but it's limited. I, I limit myself greatly on that, and that's one thing that's uh, helped me out a bunch. And we gonna we, as time goes by, we're gonna we can get in several discussions about. Uh, uh, not eating processed foods, limiting, limiting your bread intake and the effects of uh, eating carbohydrates on your hunger and all this sort of thing. And this is all things that I'm gonna be conveying to you that comes from a registered dietitian. It's just not some dumb truck driver here talking to you about it. This is, uh, you know, this is behavior that's been beat into me by my wife. <laughs> and uh, so I, uh, I listen, I learn, and hopefully you can learn too. But anyway, um, I'd like to hear y'all's feedback and see what you think about this, and, and if you'd like to learn more. I'm still going to try to keep the videos uh, entertaining and uh, get content out there that we can see what's going on with driving, talk about Oakley, uh, talk about the hopper world, and just talk about the lifestyle in the truck anyway so we can uh, try to make it better for us. Anyway, until next time, just take it easy. Oh, 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 oh,